Okay, now I'm going to explain you how to enter operating balances to a QuickBooks account. Now, earlier I explained you how to create chart of account or how to set up chart of account. So they are created, they are we created new accounts and our chart of account setup is okay. Now our next step is enter opening balances to a QuickBooks. So my accounting starts on, accounting period starts on uh, in QuickBooks, 1st April 2023. So therefore, I'm going to post my opening uh, balances from 31st March 2023. So after that, you can continue bookkeeping uh, on day on on day to onwards on on that day to onwards from uh, using QuickBooks. So that is what we are doing here. So I have prepared my opening journal entry in uh, Excel. So this is my opening journal entry. So uh, I'll explain you step by step how to create or how to enter this opening balance journal entry to your QuickBooks. To enter journal entry into your QuickBooks, what you should do is you just need to click on the company tab, then choose make journal entries. So once you select my journal entries, then you can see a window like this. So here you need to change your journal entry date. So here my journal entry goes to 31st March 2023. So I selected the date. Then my first accounts according to my journal entries land. So I'm going to select land and the value debit balance of my the cost of my land is 1 million. So it's a debit balance 1 million. So the second uh, entry is building. This is on debit balance. So debit balance, I'm going to enter debit part first. Then the cost of the building is 500,000. Then uh, furniture and fittings. So what is the uh, value of furniture and fittings? So it is 100,000. Now we have a stock value, which is 25,000. Stock. Yes. After that, we have a account receivable balance. David and Company. So, what is the amount? Is 100,000. After that, my bank balance. So, my bank account. That name is NSB. So there I have a balance of 150,000. Then the final one is Ashen Head, this 100,000. Right, 100, 500, 100, 100, 500, 100, 125,000. So here, balance is 125,000. Right. Yes, now uh, my total credit balance goes to opening balance equity account. So here, here you have to select opening balance equity accounts. So total uh, amount is 2 million. Right. Now here you can uh, use memo if you want to uh, add any description for your account. So then this is the first entry. Uh, all debit balances, all the debit balances uh, go debit to respective debit accounts and uh, credit account goes to opening balance equity accounts. Now it's time to record our journal entry. Then click on the save and close. Here, here I have to see the customer. So my customer name is David. Yes, now the opening balance is recorded successfully. So now I am going to enter the other part of my journal entry. So my other part of the journal entry. So what this is my second journal entry. Let's go to company, then make journal entries. 
So my second part is the edit part here. You see, uh, here opening balance equity account is the only debit one. So the, therefore, I am going to select opening balance equity. So here, debit balance is one hundred uh, two million. Then credit balances are building accrued depreciation of building. Accrued depreciation of building is what the amount twenty five thousand. Now, second one is accumulated depreciation of furniture and fittings. So what the amount is uh, ten thousand? Yes. Then accounts payable. That's it. Accounts payable balance. So it goes to supply finance, no? finance and company. So what is the amount? This ninety thousand. Right. Then capital account. We can use owner's equity account. So it is uh, one point seven million. One hundred one million and seventy five thousand. Then the final one is retained earnings or. Uh, Yeah, retained earnings. Retained earnings amount is one hundred twenty-five thousand. So this is the second entry. All the credit balances goes to respect to credit account, and the debit balance goes to borrowed debit balance goes to operating balance equity account. Now uh, general entry. So I finished the uh, opening general entry. Now I am going to record this one. So I here I need to uh, select the uh, supplies name. What I need to. That's all. Now I am going to uh, record my. Second opening journal entry. Right now, I recorded opening journal entry. Now you see opening balance equity account now zero because it matches with debit and credit accounts. Now if I go to uh, company, sorry reports, then just say. Uh, If I select the balance sheet standard, and I if I select the start of two thousand three, now you can see all our entries are here. Now this is the saving account, my bank account, and this is the receivable amount. And this is the stock. See the cash in hand, current stock, and the cash in hand they are under the current assets. You now this is the. Uh, now you see the building cost amount and the administration amount, this is the net amount. So all are arranged well. So likewise, you can enter your opening journal entry like this. So if you have any thing to clear, please put a co comment under the video comment section. So I'll reply you soon. Now, let's meet with another QuickBooks lesson. That's it for today. Thank you very much for being with us.